This video introduces the Seasons Interactive that you're going to be using in Lab 7. When you first open up the link from Blackboard, you're going to get this introduction screen. And you want to go ahead and click over to continue to the interactive. Now there are several control things and pieces of information that I'd like you to look at. Some of the questions are going to ask you about the top view, and that's this one shown down here. And notice the sizes and distances are not to scale. In fact, they are grossly exaggerated on this because we're trying to focus on what's happening on the Earth. But the Earth is much, much smaller than the Sun and very far away. If we were to put it in scale, it'd be such a tiny dot, you wouldn't be able to see what's happening with the shading. So here's the top view, and this is our side view. So you'll have some questions that ask you about the top view, some questions that ask you about the side view. Now there's several things you can control here. You can click through to different months of the year, and you'll notice that in both the side view and the top view, it moves around the Earth's orbit for you to be able to do that. You can also change the tilt from zero degrees, so it's unnaturally straight up and down, or the accurate tilting over at 23 and a half degrees. And you'll answer several questions in regards to that. There may also be times where it's useful to show the equator. I'm going to back this up just a little bit so it's not so much in the shadow. And you can see a little bit more. This red line represents the equator. And the blue bands just show your tropics. And you're going to be able to use that to help answer a few questions as well in the lab. Now there's other information on this interactive that we're not directly addressing in the lab. You're able to put up specific locations such as Chicago or Ecuador or Melbourne, Australia to see where they are on the globe. And it gives you some information about the amount of daylight and the typical temperature of that time of year in those particular locations. These are all wonderful pieces of education, but not specifically what you're going to need to use. You're going to be looking at the tilt difference and then looking at the information for the different months. And again, having the equator there will help you be able to answer some of those questions. If you have any questions about how to work with the interactive or what something in particular means as you're looking at it, feel free to contact me and we can go in and take a look at what it is that's causing you some difficulties.